And now the most intriguing two minutes in television, the latest from the political grapevine. That Fox News poll that we spoke of earlier asked New Hampshire Democratic primary voters for their opinions on the most important candidate qualities. And the ability to bring about change was number one at 39 percent. That far out past the right experience. And respondents said Barack Obama was the most likely candidate to bring about that change. He gets 47 percent support, more than double Hillary Clinton at 21, John Edwards at 16. That whole message has not been lost on the candidates, and even the Republicans are all over it. During Saturday night's debates, the top 10 candidates in the two parties mentioned change a total of 91 times. The Democrats had a 2 to 1 margin on the change scoreboard, 61 to 30. Leading the way was Hillary Clinton, who mentioned change 25 times, once saying, quote, I and body change. John Edwards and Barack Obama came in with 14 changes apiece. Bill Richardson mentioned it eight times. For the Republicans, Mitt Romney led with 10. Rudy Giuliani had nine. Mike Huckabee, five. John McCain, three. Fred Thompson, two. Ron Paul, one. Obama mania, meanwhile, is spreading from Iowa to New Hampshire all the way to Central Europe. The International Herald Tribune reports the Illinois senator has become huge in Germany, where he is being compared to the much-loved John F. Kennedy. The Berliner Morgan Post ran a headline this morning calling him the new Kennedy. The tabloid Bild said, the black American has become the new Kennedy. And an editorial in the Frankfurter Rundschau had a headline, Lincoln, Kennedy, Obama, and said that, quote, hope and optimism are the source of the nation's strength. Meanwhile, an inmate in the Pueblo County, Colorado jail who was injured during his second escape is suing the county and several officials because the jail was not secure enough to prevent him from breaking out. A local TV station reports that Scott Anthony Gomez Jr. says he told the sheriff after his first brief escape that security was too weak, but no improvements were made. So he tried it again. He, he says the cell doors in his maximum security wing were easy to open and he was able to loosen the tile in the shower ceiling because the guard did not check on him for an hour. Gomez climbed through the ceiling, but then fell 40 feet while trying to scale the outside wall. He's now suing. Iran's foreign.